first and foremost, let me get some out the way. A lot of y'all refer to Southpaw TV as a Gervonta Davis fanboy channel. Some type of D-writing channel. I see y'all comments. Y'all are out y'all damn mind. Let me explain some to y'all. I'm a fan of Javante Davis inside the ring. He is the face of boxing, absolutely. But outside the ring, I cannot agree with a man who paints his nails and wears purses. Please get that through your head. I'm a fan of Tank Davis inside that ring. But outside the ring, I can't agree with what the man be doing fashion-wise. Speaking of man painting they damn nails, Ryan Garcia tweeted out, Painting your nails as a grown man will never be cool ever. Shakur Stevenson responded back to this by saying, Something me and him could agree on. Fuck Lil Nas X. And listen, I know Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia are desperately trying to sell this fight because we are seven days away and the fight is not so out yet. But for some strange reason, these two individuals are saying whatever they could just to get some eyeballs on this fight. Ryan Garcia called out Terrence Bud Crawford. The man has lost his damn mind. But at the same time, we know Ryan is just trying to sell the damn fight. Ryan Garcia tweeted out, I respect Crawford and what he has reached. But I want to kick his ass just because. Let's go. Stop the damn cat. Bitch, please. Then Ron Garcia said that he got worried that Devin Haney actually fired a sparring partner for kicking his ass in training camp. Devin responded back by saying, you make shit up as you go. I ain't no bitch like you. I will never do that. Do y'all believe that Devin Haney actually fired a sparring partner for beating his ass in sparring? I believe it. There has been several rumors over the years that Devin Haney and Bill Haney have got rid of sparring partners because Devin Haney just can't take a punch. That's right. Also, tickets are on sale. These guys were going back and forth for about two hours on Twitter. But then Devin Haney tweeted out something really interesting. The man said, these females don't want you. He talking about Ryan Garcia. Hey, yo, Devin Haney, bro. I don't think these females want you, bro. Speaking of that, Devin Haney's girl, Lena, was once a sex worker. That's right. So it makes you ask the question, do these females really want Devin Haney? Or does Devin Haney gotta pay these females like his girl Lena, the former Taz Angel? That's right. Taz Angels was a sex working service, a escort service that Devin Haney's girl Lena was once a part of. Y'all can look this up. I'll snatch your hair. I'll snatch your hair. One thing I will say about these Twitter beasts between Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia, 100% of the time, always wins the little Twitter war between him and Devin Haney. Devin is not a good trash talker. Devin Haney ain't got no damn character. The man grew up rich. Say what y'all want about Ryan Garcia. At least the man knows how to talk trash a little bit. Fuck you, you fucking devil worshiper. I saw this on Twitter earlier. It ain't got nothing to do with the Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia fight, but I found it very interesting. It got a picture of Tank Davis and Devin Haney. The caption says, The guy trying to get out the hood versus the guy that wants to be hood. We always see these two types in boxing. He's fake. He's fake. And I had no idea that Ryan Garcia's little brother, Sean Garcia, will be fighting Amado Vargas on the Nate Diaz versus Jorge Masvidal boxing match they got coming up. I got a feeling that Sean Garcia, Ryan Garcia's little brother, is going to get stepped on. I am not even a fan of the Vargas brothers. I think their father was a steroid user. But I think that Amado Vargas is going to step on Sean Garcia. Fuck Canelo. And before I get to Canelo Alvarez, I just thought I'd share this picture with y'all. It shows the top four powerhouses in the sport of boxing. You got Al Heyman with PBC. Bob Everman with Top Rank, Eddie Hunt with Matchroom, and Oscar De La Fishnet with Golden Boy. It says, current male world champions. Al Heyman got the most champions in the sport of boxing with 12. Bob Aram got 11, Eddie Hunt got 10, Oscar De La Fishnet got 2. So like I said, Al Heyman runs the sport of boxing. Get that through your heads. Canelo slapped your girl's ass. What would you do? I mean, you gotta, you gotta let him do it. It's Canelo, eh? I mean, you gotta let him do it. It's Canelo, Holmes. 
typical Canelo Alvarez fan and Canelo Alvarez knows that that's why Canelo Alvarez says the type of things he says these days Canelo Alvarez did an interview today and they asked the man about people claiming that he's ducking David Benavides That's not my fans, that's my critics, so that's a different and they always have something to say about me I still can't believe that Canelo Alvarez responded this way According to Canelo Alvarez, you are not allowed to critique him He talking about them ain't my fans who are saying I'm ducking David Benavidez Them are my critics So according to Canelo Alvarez, being a professional boxer, a professional athlete You are not allowed to critique him According to Canelo Alvarez his fans do not critique him Canelo Alvarez is basically admitting That he does not have fans He got dick riders Canelo slapped your girl's ass You gotta let him do it, it's Canelo eh? I mean Canelo Alvarez must have forgot that he is in the sport of boxing In the sport of boxing You are gonna have critics every day, all day Floyd Mayweather, the man who beat up Canelo Alvarez all 12 rounds Still got people critiquing the man Canelo Alvarez is acting like a diva. He think he too good to get criticized. He ain't like that. I said this a hundred million times about Canelo Alvarez versus Jaime Munguia. This is a fight that we could have seen on the zone. Why did Canelo Alvarez bring Jaime Munguia, a the zone fighter, over to PBC? Because Canelo Alvarez is scared of one man, David Benavidez. That is it. That is all. There is no reason that we should be watching Canelo vs. Munguia on PBC with Al Heyman. It is a the zone fight, and deep down, Canelo Alvarez fans know this. Fuck Canelo, bro. Another thing, I ain't got no issue with Canelo Alvarez cherry picking Jaime Munguia. We know Canelo Alvarez is scared of top competition, but why is the man holding them belts hostage? Why is Canelo Alvarez still a champion at 168? How come Canelo doesn't just drop the damn belts? Let David Benavidez, David Morrell, somebody else fight for the opportunity to become a champion. Because Canelo Alvarez's only identity in the sport of boxing is them championship belts. It's only one problem. The man is scared to defend them belts. He is scared of his mandatory David Benavidez. Canelo Alvarez don't even care what y'all think. You do know that, right? Canelo doesn't even care what his fans gotta say anymore. Canelo Alvarez is the biggest disgrace to boxing and deep down Canelo Alvarez fans know that. I know South Paul TV. And don't forget to check out the store. The Raw No Protection t-shirts are back in different colors, all sizes. I got the never use protection coffee cups that y'all been requesting and never use protection t-shirts. Cause on South Paul TV, I'ma let it be known. Don't ever use protection. He's not a pay-per-view attraction. 